purchasing the unfinished home on La Hacienda Drive with a long list of tasks to complete and the clock ticking. Now, time's up again, and the house is back with the Board of Building Standards with more issues and permits set to expire very soon. Kate has Mariah Williams at the house with the latest details. Mariah? Thanks. This house behind me has been labeled everything from being called a green monster to an eyesore to just plain out ugly from fellow residents living on this block. The unfinished million dollar home got a new owner last September to continue the development of this house. Some say they have not seen a crew out here since May and their nine month completion deadline is up. The current owner nowhere to be found. Residents say they just want this headache to end. I don't know who this new guy is. If there's a sketchy contractor with a broken out, you know, window, you know, there was a pickup truck, um, uh, they, they rounded up people like this to do the work. It's uh, substandard, amateurish. This is such an eyesore to a gated community where the homes are impeccably manicured. They're, they're well-built, nice homes. The Board of Building Standards made a decision last week to continue keeping this house on the agenda for upcoming meetings until this house truly reaches the finish line. Reporting in Abilene, I'm Mariah Williams. Back to you. Thank you, Mariah. So the new owners, they have until October the 2nd. That is the next date for the Board of Building Standards meeting. This is in order to resolve those permit and violation issues. And as Mariah said, it will continue being placed on the agenda each month until it is resolved. Well, the Merkel Volunteer Fire Station, now 58 years old, and this coming election season, Merkel residents can